Have you heard of African swine fever? Are you wondering what it is and why it is a big deal? Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hines, swine specialist with Penn State Extension. African swine fever is a highly contagious swine disease that is a big deal for pig producers. In this video, we will explain why. And we'll talk about three things more in depth. First and most importantly, can I get African swine fever? Then, why is African swine fever such a big concern? And how can I protect my pigs from African swine fever? Let's start by talking more about the first question. Can I get African swine fever? African swine fever is a viral pathogen that affects only members of the pig family, suidae. This includes livestock pigs, pet pigs, show pigs, as well as feral pigs. Humans and other animals do not get African swine fever. This means that pork is still safe to eat. Some more good news is that as of October 2019, African swine fever has not been found in North or Central America. Wait, what? I thought you said this was a big deal. Well, this brings us to our next question. Why is African swine fever such a big concern? Although the virus cannot infect us, humans can carry it from place to place. Through our movements, travel, and activities, we can and do move viruses around. This includes when we transport pork products, for example. African swine fever can be spread to other pigs if they consume undercooked pork. Remember, we humans are not affected by African swine fever. So while we can safely eat pork, pigs cannot. Now let's take into consideration that millions of people travel the globe every day. This is especially true during the summer months in North America when tourism drives up human movements, increasing the likelihood that people will try to illegally bring home pork-based souvenirs. Here in the United States, Customs is working to reduce the risk of illegal importation of pork products. But millions of people travel each day. A trained dog even found a roasted pig head in a traveler's luggage at an airport in Atlanta. This souvenir could easily have been missed and could have carried the virus into the U.S. According to the United States Federal Aviation Administration, nearly 1.3 million people travel internationally every day. The number of people that could be carrying the virus on themselves or via contaminated pork products is a risk to U.S. pig production. So even though it does not infect people, our activities play a huge role in the movement of this disease. We've established that human movements spread the pathogen around. Well, so what, you might ask? This is important because the disease is very resilient in the environment. The African swine fever virus can survive for over 100 days in fresh and cured pork and 300 days in dried meat and jerky. The virus can survive indefinitely in frozen products. Furthermore, if any of those travelers visited pig farms, the pathogen could live on their shoes or clothing. On its own, the virus can survive in soil or feces for 11 days or longer. As you can see, this virus can survive for a really long time in a variety of environments. There is ample time and opportunity to unknowingly spread the virus to pigs through either pork products or on your person. In addition to African swine fever being, being highly resilient, there is no vaccine available for it anywhere in the world. Even if one pig is exposed, we can expect nearly 100% death loss of all the pigs on a single farm. Finally, and probably the most important reason we need to keep African swine fever out of the United States is the impact this disease will have on trade markets and livelihoods. Here in the US, we export about 25% of the pork we produce. The severity of African swine fever means that other countries will stop purchasing US pork if African swine fever is found here. Severe price drops will dramatically impact the income and livelihoods of many Americans. Farmers, veterinarians, crop producers, and related agricultural industries. This brings us to our final question. How can I protect pigs? We can protect pigs by practicing biosecurity. We can protect pigs by working with the veterinarian to keep pigs healthy. And finally, we can protect pigs by being aware of where we travel, and by following all importation laws. 
Incorporating these three ideas into our interactions with pigs will help all pig producers, caretakers, and enthusiasts protect our pigs from this highly mobile and destructive disease. So remember, African swine fever does not affect humans, but it is spread by humans. It can be carried on our shoes, clothing, and belongings, by live pigs, or by pork products. If it gets into the United States, pork prices will crash and many livelihoods will suffer. There is no vaccine and no cure for African swine fever. So be vigilant and follow all the guidelines of prevention to help ensure that your pigs and the U.S. pork industry are protected.